Hey, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back to you to another video here on the channel, guys. So today we're gonna be doing best alpha combinations for the man himself, Burnout. So Burnout is basically a motorcycle dude. He's got that nice motorcycle helmet on. I really like how you can't see his face through the motorcycle helmet. I really like that. And his nice black and red leather jacket with his like red scarf kind of thing in there. And he's got some gray pants and all of that and some black boots and his color scheme is kind of you know black and red and I guess you can say gray so we're going to be kind of mix matching as we usually do with outfits and we're going to be doing obviously back blings and pickaxes like we usually do on the channel anyways guys let's get right into the first outfit combination well for back bling first we're going to talk about dark matter basically he comes with the dark voyager and he is an awesome back bling to go on this guy because it kind of just looks like it fits. It doesn't look awkward on him. It doesn't really look anything bad on him at all. And in my opinion, I feel like it just looks really good. And you got the red that matches the kind of moving stuff like the digital stuff inside the back bling is also a nice touch. And it just matches him overall with the black and red kind of scheme. And then we're going to be getting into the pickaxe. Now... Uh, I do necessarily like, I do really like big peg axes with this guy, and that is why I'm going to go for a global axe on this. Now, the reason I'm kind of, you know, choosing global axe is, uh, all the colors match, he's got some, it's got some red and gray on there, as well as some white and stuff like that, but it kind of matches him because, you know, all rows lead to victory, you know, he may, you know, travel the world on his motorcycle, you never know what this man does, but, uh, yeah, so that's going to be definitely, uh, the first alpha combination. And we're also going to be doing, I'm actually going to add a glider for this one, or a umbrella instead of glider like we usually do. This one's going to be the, basically the season three glider, the paper parasol. And we're going to also do flames because they really match. Alright guys, so here we are. Alright guys, so here we are. We're going to go down to our favorite mountain here. And I'm actually really liking this. I do wish I had the slurp cannon though. I feel like that would be an awesome, awesome uh, kind of like a awesome pickaxe to go with this guy, but unfortunately I do not. Every time he comes in the shop, I just end up passing out on it for whatever dumb reason. But anyways, we're going to come down here, showcase it up. Obviously, the glider's going to match perfectly with all the red on him, especially that red arm brand and all his uh, red designs on him. And as you can see, the big pickaxe really does kind of like fit him. I don't know. Something about it. I feel like this guy looks really good. You know, some pickaxes may look out of place on some characters if you're using them with them. But this guy just looks really good with a lot of uh, a lot of pickaxes. And especially the new global... Well, it's not new, but the global axe. And obviously the red and gray on it will go perfectly with it. And I'm just loving this. Loving this outfit. I love the back bling on him. It just looks natural. You know what I mean? It almost looks like it's a part of him. It almost looks like it's his own back bling. And... Uh, Nothing about this outfit does not match. I mean, obviously, the colors on the pickaxe will kind of express the outfit a little bit. The blue on the uh, the globe and the little planet, or the blue on the Earth and the, the little planet, probably like Neptune. I don't know. They kind of just put some red dots on the circle. But um, uh, we'll match like that blue cord on the back bling and as well as the blue digital points. And yeah, um, nothing, nothing really bad about this at all. And yeah, that's probably why it comes in at my uh one of my favorites because it's just a nice clean outfit nothing looks absurd nothing looks stretchy and yeah this is our outfit this is the first one let's get into the next one all right guys all right guys so for the back bling for our next outfit combination we are going to have the burgo bag now the reason why i'm putting the burgo bag on here is it obviously it matches a lot and it kind of fits the theme as well so let's go over what matches obviously the gray the grappling hook uh crowbar, the red dot on the flashlight, and the red crystal inside of the bag is all going to match him perfectly, and it all comes out to a nice back bling, as well as I just love this back bling, it looks really nice, and obviously the black on it's going to match his whole, you know, his whole leather jacket and stuff like that, but also fits him, you know what I mean, you know, you know, he might, you could say this is, you know, his duffel bag and stuff like that, maybe he's like some sort of criminal and he's, you know, stolen all his goods and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, maybe, maybe this is duffel bag, maybe he's got his map for wherever he's traveling and stuff like that. And yeah, I think it's an awesome back bling and it definitely goes well with him. And we're going to have the same set from the jailbird for the pickaxe. We're going to have the night owl. I don't know why I flipped it around, but I love the night owl. Obviously on the red, the red is going to match really good here. 
and it's all the golden on it is also going to match like the little golden owl or not owl it's like a, kind of like a cat or a cheetah or something in there it's really going to match that as well and also the glider is going to match or the umbrella is going to match the night owl and i just love this pickaxe it looks different it's nice height nice not too big not too small and it's an overall clean pickaxe and it matches burnout Alright guys, so as you can see in here, the back bling does look, I will admit, the back bling is like, I wish it was maybe a little bit bigger for this guy, because I feel like, it's obvious, it's a perfect right now, but if, maybe if it was like a little bit bigger bigger and the stuff inside of it was a little more puffier, or, I don't know, I feel like it just looks really good now, but if the back bling was bigger, I definitely feel like it could look even better. So let's hop on down here, I'm going to show you guys the pickaxe and stuff like that, and, uh, here it is, the flames, you know, coming down. I really love, I always say this every time, but I love how, you know, this back bling kind of moves and stuff when you jump and glide down. The grappling hook looks, it's about to fall out and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so this is him gliding down. I'm loving this skin so much. But, yeah, this back bling, it just pops out. You know, you notice the crystals and stuff in it. And it looks really nice as well as the pickaxe. The pickaxe goes phenomenal with it. Um, Obviously, you could do any, all these, you know, pickaxes I'm doing in this stuff match really well, so you can always, you know, mix match them, but I just put them in whatever order, and uh, kind of mix match them together, whatever matches best, but you know, it looks like, this back bling looks like, you know, he would have this, you know what I mean, that's what I really like about it, and the pickaxe, I just personally like the pickaxe, and I feel like it matches super duper well, and stuff like that, so yeah, um, nothing really much to say here of this guy, um, the back bling is not getting in the way. The pickaxe is a nice gold on it that really kind of pops out as well and stuff like that. And yeah, um, I'm really enjoying this. Really enjoying this. Um, man, yeah, like I said, maybe if the back bling was a little bit bigger for this guy, it would look a little bit better. But in my opinion, it looks very good right now. What is this man doing? What are you doing? I'm up here showcasing. I don't know what you're doing. But bam, bam, bam. All right. Sometimes when I edit, it doesn't let me edit, but okay. So yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let's get into the next one. Alright guys, so for the sake of this new starter pack coming out, I decided that I wanted to put the bogey bag on this guy. Um, it's part of the new starter pack. Uh, what, what's, where's the guy? Where is he? He's like down here, right? Yeah, we got Wingman. Um, I'm going to do a best alpha combination for him as well, but for now, just for the sake of it being new, I thought I'd add this one to it. Um, and I'm also going to be including dun, 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 the Axe Caliber. Now, the reason I'm adding the bulky bag for us to go over this is that obviously the red and gray are going to match perfectly together. And uh, the back bling is kind of sort of, you know, a fighter pilot themed, but I feel like it was kind of cool. Obviously, it's sort of parachute. Um, I know it doesn't necessarily completely match a motorcycle dude, but at the same time, I feel like it's a very cool back bling. It matches his pants and the red on him very well. Uh, brings more gray to the outfit, and the uh, axe caliber, pretty obvious of what's going to match here, the red and the gray, and it's an awesome pickaxe as well, the golden, kind of, you know, matching the symbol on the back, like the yellow uh, airplane symbol on the back of the back bling, so yeah, that's going to be the next outfit, and also the final one, so let's get into the showcase. So as you could tell by the first kind of impression, I love this back bling because it's like, it's a nice fit. Um, it's not like too interactable or anything. I don't think anything is really interactable. It's a nice fit. Matches his helmet really well now, I'm seeing, and his pants. And it just matches actually really well. I'm going to have to rock this because it's just a nice, simple back bling that looks fantastic on this guy. And obviously the pickaxe you're going to see here in a minute. I know it's nighttime. I'm sorry about that. But uh, it's not that different to see. But <clears throat> I'm going to jump on down here. Kind of wish there was like some sort of place, you know, like maybe like a motorcycle shop would be cool to add. You know, maybe like add a motorcycle shop like right there. That'd be dope. But because so I could take it to this. But the back bling looks like perfect on him. It's like even better than the first one, uh, in my opinion. It just looks perfect. It doesn't. It fits so well. You know what I mean? Obviously, it's a parachute. I don't know what he would need a parachute for unless you know. He's doing some extreme, unless he's living like Larry out here, you know what I mean? So, uh, anyways, coming on down here, we have the Axe Caliber looking snazzy on him, as usual. The red really kind of matches very well, it kind of points out in the right direction. And uh, maybe, you know, he would use an axe on some point, you know what I mean? It just looks very nice. The back bling, I can't get over how good it looks on him. I didn't really know how it felt about the back bling at first. 
but I think I like it. And now I'm jumping around and stuff. It kind of looks like the creases and stuff. It looks like, you know, the air or, like, the parachute's, like, moving around in the back when you kind of jump and stuff like that. That's cool. I always got, maybe the cool glider they could do is, like, hey, here's a parachute. You know what I mean? Other than some sort of glider. You know what I mean? I feel like that'd be cool. But, uh, yeah, guys, this is going to be the final outfit. I'm honestly thinking this might be my favorite one out of all of them. So, yeah. Uh, if you guys didn't enjoy the video, I'm going to have two more of these videos. I know I usually don't do them, but a lot came out last night with the starter pack. I'm going to do outfit combinations as well as a pickaxe, which is the bat skull. Because a lot of people bought that I saw in the comment sections. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing one with that. And I got a lot of work ahead of me. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.